Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razek at CM Trading. Today is December 13, 2022, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets explode right before the CPI results coming out, which is a anomaly as the markets are still digesting all this information. Now, looking at the major economic events of today, at 3.30 South African time, monthly core price index number coming out. And so tomorrow we also have FOMC rate statements. So that's a big deal as well. So looking at the various markets, expect volatility. Starting out with the Forex symbols, the euro developing a wedge, a right wedge formation while sitting on resistance. We're going to take a look at that. And looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ roll right back to their highs. Commodities, golden change, what oil does gain. Looking at the stocks, the gains were across the board besides Tesla. And lastly, Bitcoin, slight gains as well. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we are looking at the euro usd and you could see right here that is a right wedge formation generally speaking okay generally speaking that is a bullish kind of formation so you got to keep an eye on this because if this develops into tomorrow i mean you could see a little bit clearer here on a daily chart and if you see that right there that's your resistance -ish area that's the wedge formation and it just wants to push up higher but it's got to get that oomph it's got to get that confirmation from the markets as well looking at the gbp usd also showing the same thing as it's across the board australian dollar close to its resistance not as strong as the other ones but this one showing the most strength now looking at gold also sitting clearly also at resistance ish level 1788 right below its 1800 ish level as well now looking at crude oil we did gain yesterday nicely from 70 dollars we went all the way down to 70 bucks we didn't break it and then whoosh, went right back up to 74 dollars a barrel that's a nice pivot move on the upside and some support there now looking at the u.s markets this is where it's getting very exciting okay looking at a four hour chart if we look at a one hour chart that's a little bit clearer look at that it's a thousand point move in one day thousand points one lot $5,000 right there. It's just so orbital. It's so strong that every time it goes up, it just takes up a higher. Okay. And it's going with volume. So this is something going into a number with volume and exceeding this. It looks like it's going to pop. I don't like to go to a number with a position in that number. Don't like to do it because you never know what's going to happen. So, I mean, as we're getting closer to this, one or two things can happen. Either we're going to pop up all the way back to our highs to 36,000 or we're going to top out at 34,500 and maybe make a retracement who knows but i'll tell you the market is digesting all this information right before this major number now looking at the nasdaq also still very very strong if we look at it also 11,853 closer to its 12,000 high but not as strong as the dow jones okay the dow jones has the companies in order to benefit the most of a higher interest rate and you know that is the one that is being pumped up the most now looking at the individual stocks besides tesla everything is what's up yesterday okay it goes across the board microsoft was the strongest one most of the day but then petered out towards the end of the day but it was the strongest stock 252 going back to it's close to its resistance -ish level if we look at jp morgan also a nice pivot move on the upside as those crossovers are actually starting to happen alcoa also nice little gain up there even though we gapped down we filled the gap and then we went also higher getting to a resistance -ish area and we're seeing crossovers with the moving averages at this stage so lots of things are happening here but tesla is the one that's dead look at that on its lows and not selling and not but not not no even pivot up so the next sell the next time the markets turn around and sell off it's tesla that's going to be the one to first sell remember back in just a few weeks ago we saw that elon musk sold many of his stocks in tesla Someone knows something about something always, okay? Just take that as a given. And we're usually the later ones to find out about it. Now, looking at Bitcoin trading on a range between 16,900-ish level and 17,100-ish level, you know, those 200 points, it's there. If you're able to take advantage of it, great. Just 
know that it's very choppy and it's very flat lined, you can make $200, okay, and $200 range that is, but just keep in mind that it is trending in a very tight range. So today, expect volatility, make sure that you've got stop losses, make sure that you take take profits because it'll be very choppy into the next couple of days. This is Fed Raise Act. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.